Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt It's a wild ride When you're being in Being in And life is shit but you're positive Let's find out what it's like to live a life Being Ian, being Ian With Jordan That's how we start the podcast oh. <sighs> Welcome I'm getting very good at that To part. another episode of Being Ian with Jordan I am so excited We were recording Were yeah. we recording? Yeah, we were recording we can. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we have a wonderful guest today, Tom Segura. Yes. Yes. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. We've already tasted delectable meals. You really fucked me up, man. Mm -hmm. you, were, you were on point because you were like, oh, when you come, I think you want something to eat. And I was at the time, I was like, I don't know. But then I've been, I've been up since early this morning and running around town. And it was like... But here's the thing. It was it was too good. Like, I want to, like... You should get another one. Fuck. Yeah, I'll get another one. Double down. Chicken Dude. sandwich, Winston Bakery, Williamsburg. Win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. I have a bed upstairs. You want to take a nap? I kind of do. Yeah. I kind of cattle. And hang out on top you. of that, the bonus mochi donut. donut. The mochi oh, donut. Oh, the mochi donuts. Mm -hmm. Come on, dude. Yeah. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. It's fucked Getting up. Getting fat. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. It's Every fucking working. Oh, yeah. I mean, on me. You oh, just got oh, me fat. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, you look is great. it a bad for you sandwich? That sandwich? Yeah. I, just, I don't think it's a good for you sandwich. It's not a good for you. It's sandwich. not. Oh, it's okay. chicken. Yeah, but it's but is deep it fried? fried. Oh, it's deep oh. fried chicken. Yeah, okay, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And it's got. Like, I don't want you to eat a second a one. Yeah, that yeah. yeah. was fucking yeah. be very sick. <laughs> yeah. It'd be very sick. But it was really delicious. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've been up early because you did. Today I did a Mark and Kelly, or Kelly and Mark. Who's Kelly Ripa? Oh, the Kelly has to come first. And 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 yeah. Is that Good Mark Morning America? Consuelo? Yeah, yesterday was Good Morning America. Oh. Yeah, doing a national press for uh, for the special. I have a yeah. special out that came out yesterday yes. on Netflix. And, Sledgehammer. Um, People are loving it. Yeah, I got a um, good response. And then they uh, yeah they set up this press. And it's so strange because I'm, I'm in this world for fucking since 2009 I've been doing yeah. podcasts, right? Yeah. Like, so you just like, I don't know, you just get... It's the only thing I do. Yeah. Right. Like you're just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with these people today, and we just talk like this, and then you do like, you know, they always do pre-interview. The difference is like when I did Colbert last, they um, when you when you're out there with him, you you realize you're like, oh, I'm with a comedian, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a fucking comic. Yeah. And and they don't do um, even if what airs is like three minutes, you sit there with him for like twenty five. So he gets like a, a oh. like he gets you laughing. You're making him laugh. It's like this, you know what I mean? Like it feels familiar. You're like, oh yeah. yeah. And, and it's like a airs, best of like, real, right? Yeah. And, yeah. He, and he's like, he's talking shit. He's really like, he's saying things. You're like, they're going to air that. And they're like, of course not. Oh, like, gotcha. Like, he's gotcha. saying wild shit. Right. Like, like really funny shit that you're like, oh my God. And then you go, God, I wish this is what would air. Right. Cause like, yeah. he's really this like fun going for like yeah. harsh jokes. And you're like. Is really a, harsh jokes harsh well jokes? like you know like going for jokes like he's going for jokes that okay. are that are like either like you go your first thought is like that like you just said that like, yeah this is fucking cbs right and then they're like yeah that's not he even goes like he said something and he was like like yeah so yeah he, he asked me to like rank um Pussy. No, rank oh. the Latin America, Latin American countries like in best people, like in order. Like he oh, was like, yeah. best I was like, There's yeah, no rate the races, <laughs> smartest yeah. to dumbest. I was yeah, yeah, like, yeah. what, dude? Yeah. What's so, your theory on sizes of skulls? Yeah, yeah. you're like Stephen. No, I did it. I was like, are we Eric? And they're like, fuck <laughs> no. <laughs> but then, like, That's crazy, that you <laughs> did it. You're like, yeah. I was Ecuador. like, Ecuador. Well, <laughs> Argentines are definitely the top um, because they're white. You know, he's like, I get it. Yeah. I was like, I get it. I get it. So. So anyways, you do that and you're like, but then like these, you freak, here's the thing. I'm sitting there backstage at these shows and I realize like they have photos, like, you know, people always have their photos from over the years of their moments. And as you're looking at them and you're seeing what's happening on the feed before you go on, you go, oh yeah, this is like, cause I, 
I'm disconnected from morning television. Yeah. You're like, this is so wholesome. Oh, and they're like, yeah. oh yeah, like they—it's they like them like, with Big Bird being like, yeah, yes. like Princess yeah. Die. Yes. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> they're like, this pastor is, came in to make his famous fucking coffee cake this morning, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna cool. fart into the microphone. Yeah, if you let me. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, and then they go, God, that's so good. And they're like, you're next. You're like, what am I supposed to do on this? And then nobody you know, prepares you. They they do, but I guess in your mind you do this so much that in you're your like, mind it's it. gonna be yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you go, it's gonna be. I know what you're saying we're doing, but I, I do this a lot. Yeah. And then you get out there and they're like, how are your children? And you're like, they're good. <laughs> they're gay. Yeah. I'm like, they're no, like, they're what? fucking terrible. I go, they're like Al-Qaeda raised. They're just fucking terrible. <laughs> and they were like, what? <laughs> I was like, you know, on the monkey I go, bars. No, no, no. I'm like, oh, they're the worst. And then they're like, oh. I go, no, no, I'm kidding. Like, I'm kidding. They're great. I love yeah. them. I go, they're watching. Jesus Christ. They're wa like, hi, guys. Yeah. And then. And then they're, you know, they, they're sweet, they, but you can tell how things move. along. that's the thing is like in podcasting, you just have, you talk about shit until you're like, you're like, I want to go back to what I was saying. Oh, and you, gotcha. And then in like morning TV, like you just say it. And then they're like, also, uh, you, uh, you just shot a special, like they just change it it's on you. It's just a commercial. It's, it's so, a commercial. These things like this are so weird. Like what was the, even on late night, late night feels like it's like a commercial. It's like a TV about TV. Like they have people yeah. on and they're like, you've been on TV. You're on the TV. This yeah. is a show on TV. On TV now yeah. back to TV. And yeah, you're like, yeah. what is going on? Yeah. Were there it's people crazy. outside with signs? No. Like there used to be. Do you remember that? Yes, I do remember that. Like TRL and, and Good Morning America. There'd also, be people lined up with like. I did it on a holiday. I did it on July, 4th of July. Ooh. So like streets were empty. I mean, it was like, <laughs> I think there was half the staff was off. <laughs> like, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was very easy. Like they got, they were like, we're going to pick you up early because you're going to get here in like 10 minutes. Cause there was nobody on the streets. Like it was no traffic at all. Yeah. But even like, what is the, one of the things I said to the guy, he goes, he's like, Oh my God. Like my tour was so long. It was almost a two year tour. And we we're re recapping. Like it was 171 cities and like all, you know, Whoa. And then he goes, God, like your kids must've missed you. And I Jesus. go, I go, what is with the kids? <laughs> I go, yeah, I abandoned them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you had like the, pre <laughs> The previous you hear one person in the back just <laughs> yeah like that well a moment before he started he was like i was coming in today i saw your he goes i saw your big head on a billboard in times square and he goes i don't mean and i go no you said it i go you said it and it is big i have a big fucking head and he was like and then it's like you say me and i feel fat you yeah, should feel fat yeah, yeah. you're fat but everybody's <laughs> laughing at this like they're like ah like I, when i'm because i'm making fun of him i was like no yeah. you said i go it's fine you said i have a big, I have a big head Everybody's laughing, like the back of the crew. And as soon as I say that abandoned kids line, they all were like, oh my like, God. Shut down. Right. And I was like, and then I start to laugh. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Cause I'm like, <laughs> guys. <laughs> and then they're like, uh, oh, the, Brad Pitt came to one of my shows. Right. So we, they asked me about it. And then we're talking about it. And I go, I go, and then he gave me a kiss. I go, cause he <laughs> said, he said, funny guys get a kiss. And he was like, <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it landed oh so bad. Oh my like, God. Funny guys like, get a kiss yeah. is wild. Yeah, yeah. It was, that is a wild thing. I think yeah. even if I was there, I would have been like, right. are you telling the truth? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it made, Am it I made, supposed to kiss you now? Yeah. That's so funny. And I actually, I remember in the moment that I, <laughs> I called an audible because I was going to say funny boys get a kiss. But I thought, I thought they would be like, you talking about kids? Like, I, because I was here on morning, I was like, say guys. Like, I, in the moment, I was like, say guys. I was like, funny guys get a kiss. And he was like, all right, well, thanks for stopping by. And oh I was my like, God. Yeah, I was like, yeah. That's so funny. But here's the thing you walk away from that, and I go, like, I just want to be clear that you walk away and you go, those people are so, like, everyone's so nice. And then when the, you walk off, even when you're like, that was awkward, they're like, that was fantastic. And oh, like, really? You're like, really? And they're like, yeah. I'm it like, is when I went to, I went to my, uh, Mike Rowland's late night taping with Fallon. And it was so, you feel so weird. Everybody was coming into the green room and talking to you. You're yes. like, these are different animals. Oh, these totally. are very bizarre people. And you're trying to joke with them and they're like, it's bombing every time. Yeah. And then Fallon comes in and it's like chill. chill and you're like, yeah, oh, yeah. there's just an entirely different thing. With it's comedians. a different like, yeah, it's a different like. It's a death. It's like an existential death <laughs> behind somebody's eyes. You just, you're so, I remember like we did this thing where on our podcast, we were going to do, uh, a bit where my wife and I were going to interview one of each other's exes 
as this segment, like as a bit. And when we're talking about it, like you're just imagining the best version. Like this is going to be fucking awesome. This is hilarious. But when I, so we each said we would talk to our exes about this bit. And when I called mine and I'm talking to her, you forget that you're used to talking to like other comics. Yeah. And so like, if I say that to you, you're like, all right, like you already are like, I see what you're like, what you're going for. Yeah. So I'm like, I haven't talked to her in like, more than a decade. Yeah. So she was like, hi, like, are you, are, why are you, why are, How you are calling your kids? Yeah. Like, you, I have a interested? family. Like, I was like, I'm a pediatrician. Oh yeah. I was like, oh and she's like, I loved you so much. She oh said God. that like in this town. And I was like, I go, so I'm doing this bit on a podcast. <laughs> I'm doing this bit on my famous co- and, podcast with my wife. Yeah. And then oh, as I'm telling her, she goes, um, I don't think I'm the right person for this. <laughs> and I'm like, I go, it's not like 60 minutes. Like, it's not going to be like, someone's going to be like, you know, why do you think you fucked this up? <laughs> or, you know, like, it's, it's like, it'll be, it, I go, the thing is, it'll the, be me we'll saying be making fun of me. Like, yeah. Yeah. you will be, like, we'll help you make fun of me. And as I'm doing it, I'm like, yeah, she has, she's like, what? Like, I don't do bits. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. She lives, lives a regular life. And then I was like, yeah, well, think about it. You know, yeah. just think about it if you want to do it. And she was like, maybe call somebody else. Yeah. I was like, okay. Okay, thanks. That's oh. so, we called my ex, uh, me and Rick Glassman on his podcast. He was like, can we call you? Because I was talking about how I date men with like walls up. Uh huh. And he was like, can we call one of your exes? And I was like, sure, because I'm so friends with one of them. Yeah. And he calls and I like say, I'm like, hey, just so you know, you're on a podcast. You yeah. Just feel free to hang up. And he's and Rick is like, hey, Jordan dates people with walls. Do you find that you have walls? And he was just completely silent. And he goes, yep. And like it worked That's because of funny. what we were talking That's about. But funny. I was like, yeah, if we had been, if any other question says, and Rick did good and just being like, well, good to talk to you. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. But I was like, oh yeah, this isn't somebody who's ready at all times. No. I mean, you could wake one of us up out of bed and be like, bits. And we'd be Here's like, a bit. oh, yeah, yeah. my cat's gay. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> Even if you like, like took the bit suggestion wrong, it'd be another bit. You know what I mean? Yes. Like you do, yeah, yeah, I'd be yeah. like, oh, this is not what I was meaning, but go, right. yeah, that's funny. You know, yeah, it's like, totally. this was, it just, I would love to have an ex on the podcast and like bring out the taser. <laughs> Wouldn't that be For fun? you? <laughs> yeah. She could tase you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like take it out, tase me and we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> You're good with most of your exes except for one of them. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm great with them. Yeah. Yeah. Are like most that. of them pretty long relationships? Uh, for the most part. Yeah. I mean, like, Year and a half, two years is like the longest, but yes. amicable breakups. I amicable. like that. That's yeah. not how yes. I have. No, that's not. I have. I have two past. that were not amicable. You're, you have like fiery breakups, like yeah, yeah. Well, I have a hard time. Volcanic. Go. Yeah. yeah, she really sinks. You guys can hate somebody, and if they break up with me, I'm like, but I, I need to be with you now yeah. that you don't want sure, me. Sure. Yeah, yeah. If I was like more, if I was mentally sound, yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. I, it would definitely be if I knew the truth that we shouldn't be together. It would be easier, but I burn it all to the ground. I'm like, yeah, if you get it, that's just. But isn't this like all like you're I'm growing? Yeah, you're getting yeah. there. Like you're gonna be there. Yeah, one guy cheated on me, and I was like, hey, if we just don't talk for six months, everything will be cool. Where does that? We didn't, and then we're fine. Is that the guy that you called while you were with a guy, and you were like, we need a yeah. break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As she, the dick was a entering guy my was, body. was pre-enter, getting warmed up, and yeah. she called a guy. I was, was like, warmed up. We need a break, and then hung up, banged him, and then told him. And the the guy <laughs> went across the street, <laughs> fucked a girl, came back, and she's like, "You cheated on me." <laughs> no, not that. He cheated a real cheat. Oh, this is oh, a different. Real cheat. <laughs> yeah, this is oh. a different story. The even Stevens thing. I was like, "All right, weird that you've." banged that child who works across the street <laughs> what? and now I know you've been hanging out all the time but then we were like back together he went on a trip I was about I was getting his oil changed and I was like hey what oil does your car take and he was like weird and I was like man what's weird and he was like I slept with this girl and I was like I'm not changing your oil <laughs> and I just ditched his car I got it again but he did park it and get out of it changing a man's oil yeah yeah that changed that's very nice of you but I knew that we shouldn't be together so I was like if we just don't talk and don't have any bullshit we'll be cool and now we're cool you are cool now yeah yeah okay totally I'm cool with most of them it just takes me yeah it takes time I have to get out of the rejection session and then I'm like oh yeah you can't be friends of me what do you think you're why do you think it's hard to like like you know let go why do you think you hold on to them so much um i what 
Um, it's, it's rooted just in addiction. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's just love oh, just, addiction. Yeah, love even it. I've I've like dated people who I truly was like, this is the worst match ever, and, and still... I've almost been like, we should break up, and then they're like, maybe we should break up, and I'm like, it's love. Oh right, right. Yeah, it's very much like a. As soon as they say it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. yeah so we have a bet, not a bet, a prompt, a pact. You won't talk to your ex, and I'm not gonna have sex with anyone. Right. Yeah. Wait, you're not gonna have sex with anyone? Yeah. For a minute, he had I, sex addiction. Yeah. Oh. I have love addiction. I hate sex. I use sex as a escape. Although I saw I saw a very funny bit of yours about um, how guys get in the rhythm. Oh yeah. Like I'm gonna come, and then they're like, Whoa, and yeah. Then they fuck it up. It's very funny. Thank very you. Funny. So you Thank like you. it when that it's was done good well. sex. That, yeah, that's that's what it's that, done yes. well. That guy, we were very bad together, but amazing sex. It usually goes that way. Where is that the? Yeah. 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 Big, big guy? Got a yeah. hog. Hog. What kind of dimension? What are we talking? I mean. It was so big. Like. It was the one where you, of, you keep a hand this, out. Of this arm. Really? With, no. Yeah. It had a watch. Oh, yeah. Your little it wrist. Had a watch. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. had a watch. A, a, digital, digital, yeah. a digital watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus a calculator. Christ. Yeah. Light That'd be thing. such a sweet gift to give. I bought a watch for your dick. Yeah. 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 Is this for me? No, it's for him. Yeah. <laughs> Just a penis with a watch at the base of it. <laughs> and you were at sex addiction? Uh, ah, yeah. I mean, I, I... What? But not like you don't go to like any... Yes. What? You go to oh. like group stuff for that? No, no. No, some people oh, do. group, group. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you yes, do? Yes. Okay. Yes. But whatever okay. sex that, I thought you were going to say like, rub and tugs, prostitutes. Oh, yeah. So, no, yeah. No. I thought you meant, do you go to group sex things? I was like, no, yeah, I'm not sure. that bad. But no. I almost did. But I did. <laughs> but we made this pack yesterday. Oh, and then, yesterday this pack was made. <laughs> I thought yesterday. we were on a few months or no, something. No, no. Okay. Yesterday. We okay. made the pack. And then last night I was going to meet up with a girl and I canceled because we talked and I was like, no, I shouldn't do this. I made a promise. And then I told her and she's like, well, that doesn't count. You, you failed. Like, Dude, it was, it was literally four hours after. We yeah, have, I got a problem. We have this serious conversation. He's like, I'm like, you have a sex addiction. You have to deal with it. And then he just turns it on me. What was he getting me for? Oh, you have to remember to take your medication. Just because at one point I showed up and was like, I forgot to take my Prozac no, today. I know and he's pattern. like, well, you are bad also. And now you want an applause because yet, last night you didn't fuck somebody. I'm saying get a week and then I'll give you a golden Yeah, but that ticket. is the equivalent of being like, hey, I'm not going to do heroin. And then being like, I, got, I, I found my dealer and then I walked away. You didn't say last night, you w didn't take it seriously that it was a problem. That's why it's annoying to hear you be like, hey, remember that huge problem I have? I'm I didn't recognizing do it. You okay. fucking bitch. But la yesterday, you were just pinning it back on me, and you're like, it's not what well, Yesterday's the past. To, you, yes, Tom. You didn't do it. No. So, I mean, he didn't do it. Yeah, good job. Thank you. I take the finger back. Thank you. Thank no, you. but here's the thing. You didn't do it because of her. Yeah. So, you both are to be applauded kind of in the yeah. moment. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. And I thank you. And no, and wait, so you're not going to sleep with anyone, and you're not going to date anyone? Is that what we're doing? I'm not going to. Go Contact back. Her yeah, go back. To any yeah. to any or specifically one. Just person. the one that I keep okay. going back to. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna go back. Okay. So hard, but I'm not gonna it's just every time we sit down together, it's me being like, ah, I sent a text message last night and, went, and it's him being like, I had a tranny or trans person over and <laughs> I'm an old man inside yeah. of this body. Yeah. Is trans your favorite? Uh, it's like his guilty pleasure. Yeah, it's like listening to Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and you like uh <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I love it, but yeah, I shouldn't like a like a beaut like a beautiful yeah yeah. Trend. So you like when it's like looks like a. I like them dolled up. I don't like the yeah. ones that look like they're put together with scotch tape and almost glue, <laughs> like a mop. You know, yeah. 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 But I uh, I I just like women, and then I'll settle for a fella. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that you're admitting that finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, things are good. That's good. Yes. It's like if you go if you have to go pursue a woman, that is harder. But I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. There is a, there is a second like dance you have to do where you're like, let's yeah. get dinner. And the trans dance is real. Well, fast. no, that's Quick. that's that's even dirt. harder. Because, oh, is it? Yes. Because you you don't I don't know I if I should approach because I've approached like, <laughs> hey, you're really cute. I'd love to take you on a date. And they're like, oh, fuck man. you. <laughs> I'm a I don't, you're a pussy. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And I don't know if I should like do it like a, a guy where yeah. guys, you're just like, here's my cock and my address. Yeah. You know? 
Wait, so, you don't really so know? why do you go? Why do you do it then? If it's harder than it's like a cat, it's like hard to I know, get their but love. Lo- but then but when that's you do, why you like, like it because <laughs> it's, it's like harder to get. No, I I just I like uh, I like women. Does it feel like, like less strings women. attached? No, I would. D- I've dated trans women. I would date this girl I was talking to. I would date, but I don't want to date anyone right now. And I knew if we hung out, it would be like, well, hang out all night, blah blah. So I said no. You said Good no. Job. And I'm gonna cook tonight <laughs> and do Even nice. You've things. already named like three places you want to eat today. Like, what, would, what would be like a victory in terms of how long this break lasts? Would you, what would you consider like? I mean, I've I've gone not when I was in program. I went ninety days before with. No dating, no sex, no masturbation, no porn. So and would that be the fucking gnarly, dude? Really? Gnarly. It was like I was going home and like I had a box of tissues. I was just feeling feelings because I noticed I like use that stuff as, you know, a distraction. Yeah. Because you know? I haven't had a drug or a drink in eight years. So then I'll be like, I and I noticed like. I'll be like sad or like feel lonely and I'm just like on a dating app. I'm like, this is not good. And then when I put all that away, I was like feelings, just like sobbing and everything. But yeah. getting through that felt so amazing. And I'm so glad I did it. And I got to know myself so much better. And so I'd like to do that again. It's just incredibly hard, especially because I'm like single, but I- I'm not in a space to be like an equal partner in a relationship. So the only thing I'm available for is really kind of like, sex or hooking I don't want to waste anyone's time yeah you know you're the only uh, not the only but you're the top listed person when people go marriage when people go Jordan you shouldn't date comedians oh. immediately I'm like well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's a rare it's a rare thing yeah I mean you and Rich Voss the two of us <laughs> <laughs> wait did she do she did comedy before you met yeah so we met at like open Christina and I met at like open mic Whoa. Whoa. It wasn't technically, it wasn't called open mic, but it was a, I mean, it was like a bringer style show. Yeah. And it was, uh, it, ju- it was early 2003. And so when okay. I met her, she had a boyfriend. And so we, um, you know, we were just like, I mean, it's just like another comic. And I was just like, all right, cool. You know, like I, I thought she was attractive, but I was like, she has a boyfriend and we did shows and you were just like buds for a while. Yeah. Yeah. We were just like that. And then I got a, a call. One of my friends was like, they broke up and like, get in there. She talked about you. So you should, you should hit her up. Oh, so, the bat phone went yeah. off. Wow. Yeah. Good friend. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then, um, when was that? 2000. You would never. What? You, you would never, never suggest I date somebody. Oh, I thought you were going, how about you and no, I? No, you date? and I. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Um, that's insane. Please stop. I almost killed you twice today and I've seen you for 40 minutes. I, well, you're on yeah. your period. I'm not on my period. You're I'm about to be. I know. Wait, and I have date? my period every month. The eighth. Every month. The eighth. Have you dated a comic? Oh, that's I all she date dates. Comics. Oh, that's all and you it goes. <laughs> what? Oh, it's all comics. All comics. And musicians. Okay. Artists. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I get it. Yeah. How am I supposed... Okay, what? Paul was a is a ceramicist. Zach was a musician. <laughs> a ceramicist? What? You professional? Are, listen to me. I got to keep my cool. All right. Yeah, professional. What is a ceramicist? Thank you. Potter. Okay. Um, And then it was... Great hands. And then later was a comic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is this latest person a comic? Yeah. Oh, they are. If you yeah. could call them that. Stop it. Do I'm I know helping him? you out. No. Don't know him? No. No. Go back. Um, is he like open mic comic? Nope. So it works. It's Bob Nelson. <laughs> Remember? He works as a comedian. Yep. Is a is there a sense of competition? Is that part of the thing? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You didn't pick up on that. Like you didn't know. Yes, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Right, you should right, be right. like, how was don't that? Don't say the n word. <laughs> he would. Um. No, this is a big one because I remember this. Yeah. The one thing, maybe it's like a. Uh, like a sign. But I remember that when we were dating early on, there was other like comedy couples, you know, they would call them. Right. Like, yeah. And the one thing that I was always like, Whoa, is if they were like hyper competitive, I was like, that's fucking weird. Cause we just, for yeah. whatever reason, we yeah. didn't have it. Like we didn't have, it shouldn't exist, especially with man and yeah. woman, totally different things. Totally different. And cause I would see, like, I remember this one couple that I'm thinking of, 
where the guy would be like, how did like to his own he was like, How'd you get that fucking festival? No. Like, what? Yes, yeah. dude. That is fucking terrible. Every well, guy I've dated has been like, Well, you're a woman, so it's easier. Oh, and that's like, so fucking true. Anyway. Um <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know, but don't say that's it out loud. That's so fucked. No, but it, the, I realized that, that it was getting competitive when he stopped asking, How are shows? He did like I was like, Did you watch the Comedy Central thing? And he was like, no. And it like had been out for, you know what I mean? Or like, when he it, would see you and you'd be like, how was that? And he's like, well, that kind oh, of Oh, you're right. Flat, yeah, blind. yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Like, you were kind of blind. It's like, fuck oh, you. Oh, he's criticizing like, yeah. yeah. Anything I did. If I like move. blinked in the wrong way, he'd be like, it's weird how you blinked like that. And I'd be like, do you know how crazy it is to have somebody that critical of you? It makes your body, yeah, yeah, you yeah. cannot operate. Right. You're like, I, if I yeah, do. it sucks. You're walking on eggshells. You're like trying to. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So, so stay away. But it's addicting because the second they're like, hey, you're doing sure. good. You're like, I knew it. I knew it just it took it's a. It's a cat thing. It's a. It's you want the love of the cat and then it yes. won't, it'll run away. And, when it and comes then over, once you're it like, comes I'm doing over, something you're like, right. Yeah. This is it's yeah. it's edging. But with love. I remember putting my hair up uh-huh. I, like we would be hanging out and things would be going good. And, and then I would put my hair up and he'd like get a little weird. Like, oh, and I'd be like, job. oh, my God, I have to take yeah. my hair okay. back down. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 and I was like, yeah, yeah. this is insane. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, am yeah. I doing? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's this is that was making you crazy. Oh, I had a twitch and she don't need help. Yes, I don't need help. Yes. I think I might. Wait, do you do therapy? Yeah. Alan. Oh, okay. okay. You know Alan? No. Yeah, he's the therapy guy. Alan. He's the guy. Okay. He's but, the guy who everybody goes to. He's you amazing. are doing therapy. I am. That's great. Yes. I'm doing a lot of work. Yes. I'm sober or I don't drink. Yeah. I microdosed mm-hmm. mushrooms the other I day. I do therapy. Which... I do therapy every week. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's the best. I, I love it. I am attracted to men who are like, fuck therapy. I yeah. am. Attra- <laughs> I can't help it. They smell better to me. One of my, okay. I got it. One of my <laughs> friends, uh, a woman just told me. She goes, uh, yeah, and I'd, ne- I'd known this person a long time. She's like, and I, she's single right now. And she's like, yeah, you know, I've had, I've dated a lot of bad guys and I just need to make better, um, choices when it comes to that. And I was like, yeah, yeah. She goes, I don't know what it is, you know, but like guy, like kind of fresh out of prison. I just find that. And I go, what? Yeah. yeah. What? And I, and I've known her like my whole, almost my whole life. I was like, what are you talking about? And she, she was like, yeah, I'm sorry. I go, you find a felon? A felon? She's like, yeah, I just think it's so attractive. And I was like, I fucking thought I knew you so much. What? better. It's just so crazy to me. You hadn't met people that she's dated? Um, for the, a couple that were like very unimpressive. Yeah. But I, <laughs> they weren't like. Sometimes those are the guys who go to jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They just and walk then, out with the TV. Then, and then I, I re, I'd met one who. After where like after they, they went to jail, so I yeah. guess. It, but I also didn't think of none of the guys. I was like, "This is a bad motherfucker." Like I get it. If were they like to, felons or were they like they losers. just didn't pay a ticket? Oh just like, yeah, just like kind of like you know, nice, nice to a degree, but you're just like this guy's kind of a fucking, you know, not and really that doesn't have his shit together. Yeah, but I but what she was describing to me was like, like sounded like a violent offense. I was like, that's, Jesus. is that appealing? She's that's like, so funny to be talking to your like, friend and like, I just like bad guys. You're thinking emotionally unavailable. Yes. And like, I just like to be hit with a bat. Yeah. Occasionally, yeah, yeah, yeah. occasionally yeah. here. A guy yeah. that's robbed people. Yeah, like, he hasn't yeah. murdered anyone, but he's attempted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? I Why just not? couldn't believe, but I mean, I don't know. I guess everybody's, are what we're attracted to just, I know. It's I wish I could help there. it. Yeah, you got to change it though. But the I therapy think that's helps. The thing. Yeah, therapy that's really a, helps. that's the best. Therapy makes you become aware of it, and it's up to you to change it. Yes, one yeah. because sometimes you're not aware, and you keep doing, and then once you're aware, it's like, oh fuck, I gotta make this change. And they paint sucks. pictures for you, but you have to like yeah. do something. Yeah. with it. Yeah, you have to actually be active. Yeah, Alan said the next person you date has to be somebody you're repulsed by because anytime somebody's like affectionate, I'm like, I don't know about that. His, yeah, the the advice this dude gives her makes me feel like, what are you like? He you, was like, you need to go. Ian on always says two dates a week. Yeah, and I was like, like, dude, what? I better this better count as a date then. Maybe right here, buddy. There's <laughs> yeah. no way. I haven't been on one since he said that. That's yeah. crazy. I can't go on dates. It's insane. Yeah, but going on dates like, as a comedian impossible. You get a date someone that repulses you. He's just saying like. You need to date somebody who makes you uncomfortable because they're nice. Like, because right. anybody who's, get away. Oh. Anybody who's sweet or who likes me, I'm like. That is, that is yeah. what you're doing? Okay. Oh, yeah. So when it's they're really, like yourself. real genuine, sweet, nice guys, you're like. Yuck. Yeah. But if they're kind of like standoffish dicks. If they could take it or leave it, I'm. that's when I'm that's really when done. You're in. Yeah. But if they're like, if they're like, I really like you, this is crazy. I'm like. Bleh. But also that seems like that is something that. 
you hear a lot. In other you words, you're not lot. alone. You're, no, there's, no. There's, yeah. there's so many people like that. But you have to change. You have to. You have to you go do. against you your do. instincts. You do. You do. You yeah. do. Yeah. Which is tough. Someone's gonna. Someone's gonna break you. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. It might be the next guy. You don't know. Yeah. Who's gonna break you? I'll break you like a horse. Like a thoroughbred. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you break a horse? I you told you a, yesterday. No, you didn't. Kick the shit out of it. This yeah. fucking guy. My dad used to break thoroughbreds. Remember, there's a. I just said this yesterday. You don't listen. There's a ring on the inside and a ring on the outside. Uh-huh. And you you tri- you make the horse follow you, oh and you go God. settle. That's it. Settle. Oh, the saddle. Settle. Yeah. Oh, the saddle. You guys okay. do seem like an old married couple. It's yeah. kind of cute. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would be so cute together. Ew. Ugh. We're both too gay. Yeah. In the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't like that I've laid with men. Yeah. I don't mind that you've laid with men. Don't put that on me. I think it's a very good thing that you've laid with men. I don't like the era of philanderer. Uh, he's a philanderer. Well, I'm not anymore. You say that every time. And, and, I, you philander. and I mean it. I am 24 hours without f- philandering. Oh, my God. That is an achievement. It's a start. It's an achievement. It's an achievement. Thank you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good job. I thought you broke a horse by, like, hitting it. No. Oh. You go, Shh. Oh, settle. settle. This is what some guy's going to do to you next. He's settle. Yeah. Settle. Be, stop it. Settle. It makes me settle. Settle. It makes me settle. <laughs> Can we get some blinders on this one? <laughs> so, wait, do any of these guys that you have, like, do they ever have moments where they're super sweet? Yes, and yes, yes. Oh, that's and that's when, when I'm you're good. like, and then you're like, oh, I'm like wow. don't move, don't move. But then don't they move. go, get out of here. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's like yeah. that's, that's the sugar cube to the horse. Yeah. And then she licks it and they go, no more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're searching for the sugar. That's, it's very much like a. It's like a. Um, you want one? No, I'm good. Thank huh? you. Do you mind? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a. Yeah, it's like everything will be good, and then it's like something. It's a doom, which is very much how I was raised. Where it's like you're my kid. You know, something happened, and now I hate you. It's like the up and down not is good. very much. Yeah, yeah, not good. A consistency. I've never had like a consistency. And if there is a consistency, I stir the turd, you know? Yeah, because everything goes back to childhood. Childhood. Always. Yeah. Everything for all I wish of, that always. wasn't true. I used to not think that. It's, it's everything so goes true. back to childhood. Because what? Nothing. Huh? Just you screaming at something we agree with you. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. that's, no, you're right. More people need to hear it. It's frustrating. That's that it why is when the I'm with a gal, I want love from mommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's all mommy and daddy it is. it is i think it's mostly mommy it daddy, is unfortunately and the, the, the daddy thing is is all right but then when they're daddy 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 me and i hear you yell at your dad earlier in the day in the phone that weirds me out well stop dating 23 year olds then i'm not okay none of them Good. were that <laughs> No, never. A That's not true. Older. You think Olivia Recently. wasn't 23? She was 26 when we broke up. She was 23 when you met her. We were together three years. <laughs> I'm a young soul. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I've learned my lesson. Yeah, dude. No nice. more. No one under. What's your 26? How old are you? I don't want to date a bag of bones. <laughs> yes, I feel you. 38. You're 38? Mm-hmm. And you're, uh, the youngest you'll go now is. 26. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> What's up, dude? That's tight. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a daddy thing. Every girl likes daddy. Yeah. It must be like, I bet you get just a crazy indoor, like dopamine drip when you're, when, right? When you, when it starts, when, they, when you're, yeah, you're, you've hot. lived life and you're, you're, you know, you can show them things. Yes. Like, what the fuck? Is- I'm Mr. Fun Time Guy. <laughs> yeah. And then you have an ATM card. The fuck yeah. is going on? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Right. Dude. Fucking dick. No, <laughs> no I fucking, I'm Mr. Fun Time Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. And then it's too much fun. Don't you ever. And be- they've never been, I'm, I'm really good. Like they, they've never been with somebody who's a fun, like probably seriously. Like that. Yeah. You're like, you're, you're, with pro- anybody you're also braces? You're professionally. <laughs> <laughs> You're Without clinically braces. retarded. <laughs> anyway, so you have a special. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's your what? book? A comic I was talking to the other day is dating like a 21-year-old. And he was like, yeah, it's great because I'm really interested in my art. 
And she's at that age where she's still really excited about art. And I was like, nobody, she's at the age where she's excited about whatever the fuck you're excited about. Yeah. <laughs> whatever she has to say. Is excited. She yeah. doesn't give a fuck about art, dude. It's yeah. exciting because someone younger isn't interested in like the long term plan of having a family. And I don't really know if I want kids or not. But I I'm done with that because the sheen of that kind of wears off. And I want more of a connection with someone long term than you just like oh, okay. a sexual thing off the bat. You know what I mean? You do, you are interested in the long term thing. I would love. Yeah, love. I would love. I would, I would love. love. I would, I would love. love. I want to love. I would. Love. I could love. And I then, could. I can't love. Uh, do you want to have family and all that or no? Yeah, I do. Yeah, crazy to say that, but yeah. no. I mean, <laughs> well, why would you? He doesn't no. think I'm fit to be a mother. You're not I would fit be, to own a dog. I'm gonna own a dog, and I'm gonna own. I'm gonna at least purchase a child. She wants. <laughs> she wants to own a dog and leave it here. Sometimes. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's actually very convenient. And a child. Yeah, and a child, yeah. I would like to have a kid because I think they, it would be funny. I think kids are very <laughs> funny. This and is true. I would like to maximize that in my life. And I think at a certain point when I'm 40, I'm going to need a they're, reboot. They're, and I'm going to pump one out to be my little material. They're, very funny. Funny. they're so the funny. They're very funny. Yes. My, and they're also, they, they're manipulative much earlier than you think like in your mind when you haven't had kids or like even when they're babies you're like oh they'll be like conniving at i don't know you go like 13 yeah like, yeah dude my four-year-old he comes up to me and he goes you know <laughs> mom is a lot more fun than you <laughs> and i go i go okay thanks and he goes yeah she just like takes us to more fun places and does a lot more things that are fun than you do and i go Okay, thanks for telling me. And then he goes, uh, will you get me a scooter uh, <laughs> for my birthday? And I go, well, I mean, you just told me that mom is more. And then you asked me that. And he le he leans over and he goes, you're more fun than mom. Oh, my God. And I go, evil. he goes, now will you get me a scooter? Oh my and I was God. like. <laughs> I was like, I don't believe you. We both know you could yeah. be more fun than like, mom. That, but it was like a, you know, it was like so calculated. Yeah. He's like, did you like that? He slid like, you a hundo. He was like, yeah. let's make this He work. was greasing you up. <laughs> yeah. That's and they, awesome. And they've been doing that for, wow. Like, I'll be like, uh, you know, no more iPad to the older one. He's seven. And then he'll be like, well, I'll give you like a big, he has a deep voice. He goes, <laughs> he goes what if I give you like some kisses and hug you? And I was like, <laughs> Is he black? Yeah. Is he a little black, a little black head? <laughs> and I go, no, I dude. Hug, hug you and stuff. Yeah, you know, hug you, kiss you, shit you love. You give you the, <laughs> then I get an iPad. I go, no, it's not about kisses and hugs, bro. And he's like, all right. And he just like leaves. I'm like, wow. Like they, wow. they totally get what you like yeah. and how that gets them things, you know? And it's young. It's very young. We're all trying to quit something. Maybe you want to quit hitting snooze on the alarm. Maybe it's quitting the weekly shopping sprees at the hooker store. If you're trying to quit that nasty hand-to-mouth or mouth-to-hand or mouth-to-mouth -mouth habit, you're not alone. Fume can help. It's a fun little doohickey that you play with your hand, you open up, you close. It's got a little thing in there that's got flavors. You, But no smoke comes out, so you're not bothering the people around you on the bus because you lost your Metro card, and the bus is easier to sneak on than the train because the cops are on the train and they're not on the bus, friends have said. With an adjustable airflow dial, movable parts, and magnets for fidgeting, you can totally customize your experience. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard. But switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and you know what? Even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. There's no reason that can't be you. If, if I wrote this, it would say, Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. Actually, a thousand out of hundred thousand of them. But if I wrote this, I would say Fume has served over a hundred thousand customers and has thousands of success stories. You could be one of them. That's basically there's another reason I can't be you. Well, anyway, join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com. Use code SCA to save ten percent off when you get the journey pack today. That's try T R Y F U M. Dot com. Use promo code SCA for an additional 10% additional 10 off your order today. 
Trifume.com code SCA. That's right. Yep. One in five Americans has learned a new language on their bucket list. You don't want to die having something not checked off your bucket list. So that's why you want to use Babbel. Babbel works. Their 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to get you conversation ready. One study even found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to taking a full semester of a college language course. Who's got the money for college when dumb friggin' Biden won't give us student loan forgiveness? So use Babbel and learn how to say, shove it up your ass, Biden, in Spanish, which is something, something cool, Biden. Monica. That's what, I've been hanging out with some Spanish gals, and they love Monica. I was at the airport in San Antonio, and I said, gracias, Monica, and she said, oh, I love the Spanish. It's a good way to communicate with people, because really, English is on its way out. So you might as well learn Chinese, because that's where we're going to be in 10 years. Anyway, Babbel's great. I'm using it to learn Spanish. Me gusta el Babbel. Uh, yo tengo un apetito de culo. <laughs> I have an appetite for pussy. I don't. I do. Their focus on real life skills mean you'll have no problem ordering food or asking for directions on that international vacation. Babbel even has speech recognition technology to help improve your pronunciation and accent. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. I'm telling you, Babbel is the shit. Okay. It really helps. It actually feels really cool to talk to people in another language, and it makes them smile. So if you want to be a fun time guy at your bodega or pick up some chicas and los cientos, that means girls, I'm sorry, you're going to want to use Babbel. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners. It's very important. At babbel.com slash ska, B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Ska, S-K-A. Get 55%. That's huge. Largo. Off at babbel.com slash ska. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash ska. Rules and restrictions may apply. And you can take your restrictions and put them in la basura. Know what that means, Ethan? What does it mean, Ian? In the trash. Nice. A ghost. Let me tell you something. Gambling is fun. I know we talk about addictions on here, and I just did an ad for quitting smoking and other addictions. So why don't, oh my God, this is a good idea. Get an addiction to gambling and then use Fume to stop the addiction and support us in the process. My bookie rules. You sit down in the AC in the summer. You bet, bet, bet. You win, win, win. You get that jolt of dopamine and some money in your pocket. That's right. My bookie's new and improved online casino is here to change the game. Dive into a truly realistic casino experience featuring latest in slots, progressive jackpots, and live dealer action all from the comfort of your own home. Got a lot of friends who are into gambling. They're using it. They're loving it. You sign up. You get a little money in your pocket, and it kicks money into ours. And what better way to gamble than with money in your pocket? And if you sign up for my bookie, I give you my word, I'll gamble it. I'll gamble it all. I'll put it down, put it in, and put it on the line. And that's right. I will win. Because you never lose if you keep gambling. That's why I use my bookie. That's right. Uh, you... Um, mm -mm. It provides, sorry, I just got really excited thinking about gambling. My Boogie Casino provides a Las Vegas experience when the action's in your hands, and the best part is you don't even have to wear pants. Just Winnie the Pooh, gamble it away. That's right. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Head over to my bookie using this link, mybookie.website slash join with SCA. Enter promo code SCA to score a deposit bonus. Don't wait. Start winning big today. That's right. Yep. I just read the rest of it, and I don't need to say anything else out loud. Mybookie.com. Promo code SCA. Bye-bye. I remember I was like five or six, and I got a... Uh, I asked for Bebop and Rocksteady, the Ninja Turtles, and I only got Bebop, and it was like Easter, and I was like, where's Rocksteady? And my parents are like, well, the Easter Bunny only... 
brought one. I go, well, could the Easter Bunny hop to the mall <laughs> and get me the hop other in one? in the fucking car and <laughs> yeah, shut yeah, the yeah. fuck up? Yeah, you yeah. dumb bitch. Mom, <laughs> give me one without the, the other. Easter Bunny call his shitty mom <laughs> <laughs> and ask her to do some more? <laughs> could, could the Easter Bunny put me up for adoption? <laughs> what do you think? Could the Easter Bunny work an extra shift for once in her lazy life? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. where do you think they get the? Is that just naturally yes. what kids have? Or There's do they so get much that you somewhere? see in human behavior that you didn't like, that you I guess either never considered or had a theory on that you realize is just nature. Like everything, like especially when you have one, you get this thing in your mind that you go, "This is what a kid is like." Mm -hmm. It's when you have the second one, where you have a reference for the first one, and that and the second one's totally naturally different. That you're like, "Wait, what?" Because like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. The, the first one, like, that's crazy. Struggles with one thing, but excels in the other. And you're like, oh, this is like the kid. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, it's like the opposite. And then like one of them doesn't like music comes on, doesn't really. Do, second one is a kid, like a bait, like eighteen months. Hears music and starts naturally just dancing, like on its own. Whoa. You're like, oh, and then you right, know, you're like, oh, math isn't for kids. Yes. See how much my kid is struggling, and then the other one is like two yeah. times. Two. My yeah. first grader is doing third grade math. Like he's math Whoa. excelling, and then my wife and I both failed math so we were like how is this possible like you go like i don't but you just realize that they're just certain ways like yeah uh extroverts are just naturally like that going up to people like take a little kid to a store and he just walks up to the lady he's like excuse me and i'm like jesus christ like he, he's like i'm ellis yeah. he says his name and they're like <laughs> okay hi and he's like oh, i'm looking for this toy you guys have it and they're like oh just i think over there he's like thank you he's like dad i found it i'm like i would not have fucking is it the four-year-old who does that? Um, well, actually, they both are pretty good at introducing themselves, which is kind of, it's kind of adorable in a way. Yeah. And they also do it to um, with people with dogs. Because we always tell them, like, you can't just go up to a dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah. talk to the owner and they love. So they just would be like, excuse me, may I pet your dog? <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, uh, yeah. Pardon me, down here? Yeah. I'm down here. <laughs> um, I'd like to pet this, this animal. <laughs> they, they just do it. That's know? awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, my niece is like that. She'll just walk up to people and introduce. And Jamie's like, I have to teach her stranger danger, but it's the yeah. cutest thing I've it's ever so seen in cute. my life. Yeah. But yeah, she'll go up to people and be like, would you mind giving me a piggyback ride for a little bit? And they're like, I do <laughs> not course. know this yeah. child. It's super cute. Yeah. yeah. she's My sister just had one kid which I'm worried about her being a little princess, but she really, she does rule. I was yeah. an only child. I'm great. Yeah. yeah, that's true. You do share a lot. You share. You manage yourself quite a bit. I try to. Yeah. yeah. You share, meaning like he shares emotionally? Like he's vulnerable? No, like he's very, he, oh, he's generous. generous yeah. Oh, that's good. I'll just eat off his plate and he won't. If that happened to me, I think that's a sibling thing. If somebody eats off my plate, I'm like. Argh. I'm so yeah. a sibling. It's, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that is a a big thing. I don't know if it's all only childs that do that, but I'm definitely like, the, well, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I, I think it's like a thing of like, I wanted brothers and sisters. So it's like, yeah. Interest have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which again, it all goes back to childhood. Yeah, I'm so crazy totally. about like my stuff being touched. Me uh -huh. too. You know, like, and I, I realized my wife always points it out. She's just like, dude, cause and she is cool with it. But I'm just like, don't have anybody come in here. Oh don't yeah. Touch this shit. This is my, it's, uh, my shit is my, and I think that's definitely. It's so sibling. He'll yeah. be like, just go upstairs, take one of my shirts. I have so many of his shirts oh, at my I house. Know. If one kitty. person tries to bar, I'm like, I only have one thing. I have things that I like, and those are my things. You and I would never be like, go to my room and grab one. No, I, go, I, have, the assumption, yes, yes. I have the assumption she'll be nice and give it back. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. yeah. Cool shirt, though. Yeah. But Great that's shirt. why I love having the studio here in my house, because then it's like upstairs or hanging out. It feels like it's like a home with yep. a lot of people and not just me and a mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow it always devolves into me being like, shut up, Ian. Shut yeah, the yeah. fuck up. I'm like, mommy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but I, I, I like that and I like sharing, but it would be nice to get the shirts back. How yeah. many shirts are we up to? Four. She left my minor threat shirt at Ugh. her ex's yeah. place. And that was one of my favorites. And he threw yeah. it away. Why did he throw it away? Because it was yours? An accident, he said. Oh, it was an accident? I mean, I wasn't before, but I'm going to knock no, this No, you're not. Out. Do not do that. Assault. Do not do that. I'll quit do the you, podcast if you do that. Do you see this person often, like at shows then? Whoa. To him. Put it down. That's what I will do. <laughs> Let's down. role play. I draw the you line. The I draw the line. 
That's Agora. <laughs> that's intense. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? It's really scary. I see that. It's, you want tasers? Yeah. No. And do not give it back. But yes, he can see it. I got. I'll show. It's not that bad. Oh. <laughs> that woke you up. Yeah. It's like a little jolt of coffee. Wow. Yeah. Is this how many volts? Not that many. It's really low. I look really. Yeah. 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 It just it's feels like much. a little like. like <laughs> its bark is bigger than its bite. Yeah, yeah. It's really bark. Yeah. yeah. It's a good bark. That's why it's a good weapon. Yeah. yeah. It it'll scare you before it stings you. You use this on uh, love guests. Don't don't give that. Oh, back. You no. hold on no, to that. You keep really? that over there. Yeah, I'm not interested. Yeah. In you can turn it off. Thing. Yeah, you okay. can turn it off. So if you want to see if it's bad or not, tase Ethan. <laughs> Ethan, get. Have you done this? Get your little hiney over here. I haven't been tased yet. Even if you hold it down on yourself, it's fine. Yeah. But you, your body doesn't let you. It pulls it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not yeah. bad. I would let Tom tase me. Really? Yeah. You want to get t- tased by Tom Segura? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Would, be would you tase him? You tase him? I mean, if you're... <laughs> Come on, you Ethan. want that to happen? I'll do, I'll do it for sure. Wow. All right. I mean, Where are you go? Thanks, Ethan. This is great. You sure about this? I mean, he's okay. a little too sure. Uh, where should we do it? Oh, my God. This is... This is, I've <laughs> never sure. seen him move like this before. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just so we know, like, some, I'm not, it's not on. We're going to do something like, like this. Okay. Hey, okay. hold it there. Okay. okay. You ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> All right. Oh! It's not as bad as you think? Yeah. <laughs> It's not. It's, just, it's like, like one of those like gum shocking things, yeah, yeah, but just yeah, times a yeah. hundred. He goes into oh. cardiac arrest. Okay, times a hundred. Are you a little power hungry now? A little bit, <laughs> right? Yeah. Feels good. Yeah, I want more volunteers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Jesus. All yeah. right. You um, don't get that back, huh? Yeah, you don't get. It's like one of your shirts. I'm keeping that. Oh come yeah. on! No, no, you get it. You get it back. <laughs> Jesus. We had Greg Stone and his brother on. Mm-hmm. His older brother. And the older brother got so power hungry with it, he just yeah. could not stop oh, yeah. threatening him. It was yeah. well, imagine two bro- like a a, bro- a brother and brother getting. Oh, that. it was the best. The brother came out, and they were tasing each other. It was very fun. Felt like a sleepover. It did, but it was very triggering. I was like, "This is so. This is so siblingy." Yeah. Like, yeah. Just, just the power of just like grrr, and being like, "Oh, please." Well, I think we need if we had the taser, we need another weapon. You know, right? Like one of those fly. We guns. did. I flipped open a knife at you yesterday. Oh, yeah, the knife. Oh, yeah, the knife is there. Yeah. Well, that's not a good weapon to use. I. It worked to get you to. Yeah, I did stop. Yeah. Um. What? What's your sibling thing? You have sisters. I have two sisters. Yes, yeah. you seem like a sisters guy. Yeah, I'm those are the best guys. An older and a younger sister. Yeah. Middle. In the middle. Whoa. Yeah. It's good. That's ideal. Yeah. And who come from people from? I find that they are the nicest dudes not nice in a pussy way but nice in like a well-adjusted way well you just have like so much exposure yeah over the years to like what women are like yeah you know what i mean like you it, there's boy like guys that come from like guy households i i remember even growing up like their their approach to women was so different yeah right because like i would not only just have sisters but you have all their friends so like it's just like you're right. just around women all the right. time and yeah, you have yeah. to manage your shit and you just like i mean you get the crazy. You're like, you're like these. They're fucking a different species. Because yeah, like, their logic is not, and they're always like Normal. looking for more meaning and things. And you're like, what? Because guys usually are just like, I'll say this. Yeah, and th- so totally. that because like guys are very straightforward. And like when guys hang out with guys, there's no like, what are you trying to say though? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah, like so it's like <laughs> totally. it's just like straight. So right. like, but you learn that like that other dance. Of yes, like, the lies. Yes, yeah, so like, <laughs> there's it's a whole other thing, and I, I think you're so used to it that by the time you leave your house, you've been you've been like around women, females, like acclimated for, to yes, so going just, to yeah. the world. Yeah, like I can't tell you how many times like I have friends like going through some shit with a girl, and like I become like the, the not because I'm some Guru. expert, it's just that I'm like, yeah, she just wants you to like go over there and spend time with her. And he was like, you think so? I'm like, yeah, dude. Like this. Oh, is, wow. You know what I mean? But yeah, it wasn't totally. even because I was like this dating guru is because I have fucking sisters. Right. Yeah. And you and know that they're not a different animal. They're just like an insecure. Yeah. It's, yeah, like, it's really totally. like being like tuned into the insecurities and yeah. like reassurance. Right? Yes. Like, the reinsurance big... is really my, the my Jake Velasquez features for me everywhere I go. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, why is this? Why does he rule so much? He's so easy to be around. 
I can go th- be going through whatever ups and downs I'm going through, and he just is like stays level headed. He doesn't yeah. like have the reactionary thing. And it's because he has five sisters. That's totally what it is. is what it's one hundred percent what it is. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, oh I, it God. takes more. Like five, it trumps me by a, a bit, but like it takes more to get me thrown off by like when a woman is going through something. I'm very much like, yeah, this is normal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever have crushes on your friend's sisters? Was that weird? Um, let me see. On uh, my friend's sisters. I played spin the bottle with my friend and his sister and her friend. My sister's friends? Yeah. 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 Yes. What did yes. you think he was saying? He said my your friend's sisters. Oh, no, no. So I meant your sister's oh. friends. Oh, yeah. So oh, I, was, yeah. I was thinking no, like I, sisters of my friends. Oh, yeah. Yes. My sister's boyfriends? I thought they were my boyfriends. Yeah. You know what I mean? They'd come but over my, and be like, yeah. hi, and I'd be I like, we're married. I hooked up with... Uh, Ooh. The best friends of both of my sisters. Whoa. No way. Yeah, different, yeah, different oh, sisters. that's awesome. How, yeah. how far apart are they in age? Um, so my older sister's two years older than me. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. And my younger sister is three, four years oh, younger. Yeah, so but I was, like, I was out of college. She was in college, the younger one. And the older one, we were also in college. So it was like that age range. Like, between- Wow, I got you beat. I hooked up with my stepbrother. You hooked up with your stepbrother? Yeah. My mom married his mom. Your mom married his mom. Yes. And you guys hooked up how long into your knowing each other? 12. I wasn't 12. I was 20, 9, 20, 20. You were 20. But how long have you guys known each other? A long time. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Like since I, oh yeah, since I was 12. 12. Yeah. Oh, and then was it, wow. Yeah. And you guys had lived together all this time and everything? No, or? I went to college. Off and on. Yeah, off and on. Was he older or younger? Yeah, older. And was it a one-time thing? One time. That was it? Yeah, just a one time. Yeah. Where do you take the dog to get a haircut? <laughs> to the what? To the, the g- groomer. The groomer, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I walked into that. <laughs> uh, so did I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it memorable? It was It was memorable because I was like a little fat mall goth for so many years and he was the hottest dude ever. So that's like my fantasy. Oh, I was right. like thir- 12 and he was like, whatever, 17 he or something. He skateboard and baggy yeah, jeans. Yeah, it was so hot. And then finally I get to be of age. We It's like consummating it finally. It's sure. like getting the... So yeah, it was memorable in that way. But like next morning you were just like... It was it was immediate high five afterwards. Went back downstairs. Didn't say shit to our moms. And just like <laughs> ate family dinner or whatever. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Footsie uh, under the table? No way. No, no nothing Never like talked about it again. No, only when I saw him in San Diego recently and he came to a show with his girlfriend and I called him out for it. And then the girlfriend broke up with him. Yeah. <laughs> she did? She home wrecked her own home. <laughs> and the girl broke up with him after learning that? Yeah. How long had they been together? Years. No, well, like a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you destroyed that relationship. <laughs> yeah. 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 I said yeah. it on stage. And then I guess somebody who was there with them, like, listens to the podcast and was like, hey, just so you know, because I guess I went like this. This is classic because if somebody tells me not to do something, I do it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, ah, yeah, I fucked my several. No, I didn't. I'm just kidding. And I guess somebody. <laughs> I, guess, I like I was like, yeah, I had sex with him. And I was like, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And then but I like almost had to say it. And then a girl that has seen the podcast was like, hey, but just, so you know, she did. And the girl and then. They broke up after they drove me back to my hotel. They drove you back? <laughs> you were in the car with them? I didn't know that. In, in silence. You just, oh, in silence. No talk. In the like car. After the show, so the, uh, uh, while I'm on stage, the girl's like, by the way, they really did have sex. And then after the show, Tyler's like, okay, we'll see. And I'm like, hey, can you guys give me a ride? <laughs> and I'm sitting and I'm like, this is weird. Were you sitting in the middle back seat? Uh, yeah, it was a truck. I was sitting between like, them. Hey. And oh. this, is she say, looking at you saying? No, she's like, that was a really good show. You did really good. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, thanks for coming. And he never show. says anything to you after this. Like even after, did he text you? Or oh say, yeah, he oh, texted he, immediately. He was like, she flipped out. Fuck her. <laughs> oh okay. yeah, he wasn't like fuck you though. No, he was like, well, I mean, I he know. was like, it's so whack that that's like he was totally level up. He was like, it's crazy that. Okay, okay that's okay. a deal breaker. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> that you and I had everyone's. <laughs> Porno search happened in real life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on. Yeah, it's crazy that that would stick in her crawl. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because totally. you know every year the um whatever the the big porn company releases the biggest like the most popular searches. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. 
And like, that's awesome. Yeah. It's, How do it's, I get that? Oh, it's fascinating. You never seen this? No. And they yeah, do it, they they do really it by state? state by state. Yeah. Like what's, what's, yes. Yeah. It's fat. It's really. That's all I want. Is not Utah like interracial? I think it might be. Yeah. It's, it's very, um, it's, it's massively popular. Yeah. Like MILF it, is like huge. And it goes state to state. So they'll, they'll do that. Then they'll do the general, like these are the generally most popular. And, um, how do you get that? It's it's uh is it Pornhub? I think it's Pornhub. You look up like Pornhub. Look up Pornhub most popular searches. And then they'll do like, you know, so they'll state by state, this is the most popular search term. And then they'll go, these are the like the biggest um, yeah. trends. And however many years in a row, one of the top is always family. So why? People, people why? Search. Why is that is big one? now? Is it because it's taboo. It's so it's taboo. It's taboo. It's, yeah. the, it's the furthest you can go. Yeah. And it's like, it's so, and it's in your the back of your mind, your whole childhood. You're like, don't fuck, don't have dad look at me weird. Don't fuck your <laughs> stepbrother. Don't yeah. have these things. And yeah. then you get of age and they're like, hey, remember that thing you've been obsessing about your whole life? Yeah. We have it on video. And yeah. you're like, fuck yeah, dude. It's, I mean, I am one of those people who's looking that shit up. Yeah. Because that's your whole, especially if you're in a house where sex is like, in my house, it was very much like my mom was fucking ladies. My dad was fucking ladies. Yeah. So the whole time you're a girl and you're being like, what's going on with all the sex and now I'm a girl or things going to happen that's weird and yeah. then that's in your head. You have OCD. You're obsessing about it and then somebody's like, here's an outlet. Jerk off to this and you're yeah. like, oh, thank God. I'm right. not the only one. That's actually that's a pretty great. good summary. Yeah. yeah, That kind of makes sense. The, the, yeah. You find but, it? Yeah, so the, the, it looks like they only have a list for 2022 right now but the top categories are Ebony for number one, two lesbian, three is threesome, four is transgender, and five is MILF. Hmm. Interesting. Ebony you, is Does it have one. the state searches too? Ebony is Atlanta. I don't see the... Oh, here Georgia. <laughs> MILF. I think MILF is Florida. Maybe. It changes. Let's bet. I thought that Big Titties was the, a top one. Oh. I right. thought... Thank you. Would you like to hear some? I yes. would very much. All right, you said Florida. Florida's uh, Big Black Hawk, BBC. No way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hmm. Um, Didn't know I was searching porn in Florida. The South is like all black. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks like Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana. They're all, the top all search term is just black. <laughs> right. Um, Kentucky and Tennessee are, uh, well, uh, Kentucky is stepmom. <laughs> Tennessee is uh, strap on. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. Oh, like saddles. Yep. They like their saddles. Uh, let's see here. Um, well, what's Delaware? That's where I'm from. Come on. I want to know what New York and California are. The only states that matter. Well, Cali is Asian. What? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. San Francisco. Oh. Mm. These are ter search terms more often in each state when compared to all others. That's the way they're doing it. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, this here. What is PMV? What is that? Penis. Male vagina. PNV? PM. PMV. Paul Michael Victor. <laughs> PMV. Like PMV, but penis with a penis. motor vehicle. Yeah. Like titane. Penis male view? PMV. Yeah. Penis. All right, I'm looking up. Ew, Pennsylvania is hairy? What fucking uh, Virginia is smoking? That's hilarious. New York's Dominican. That makes sense, dude. But smoking, smoking, smoking porn. I got to get into that porn music video. Get the fuck out of town. No way. Wait, that's okay. that's Ohio. Weird. Texas is panties. Wait, what's hentai? That's the anim like the the animated thing, right? Isn't that like oh, cartoon um, shower? Or is hentai just the hair? Hentai is like a, um, tentacles. It's anime. New oh, York anime. is Dominican. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah. Harry Pussy is, what's the state? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Away. <laughs> <laughs> Milf is Delaware. Is Maine just labeled Maine? Oh, anime. Wow. That's wow. Maine rearranged. Vermont is casting. That is <sighs> really interesting. God, it would be so fun to be a sociologist. Sociologist, you want your phone? Oh, you need your phone. Oh, sorry. Well, good catch. That was a nice catch. That was a good catch. What's my top porn? It's definitely incest, and then 
Dude, it's definitely like daddy step. Really? Yeah, yeah, but that translates to real life. So many girls are like, you're my brother and mom's coming home. And then I'm just like <laughs> laying rules, there dude. I'm like that a girl. fucking PTSD victim I could victim never say it in real life. That's why in, when I have sex, people are like, how come you don't say anything? I'm like, you don't want to know what's in here. Just yeah. have sex you with unlock me. The and if I make a sound, close my mouth. <laughs> but on my porn, so I'm like. Blah, 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 blah. It would be family. like all Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Totally. It would be you're my brother and I am your sister and you hate me. <laughs> and you want me dead, dude. You wish I was never born. <laughs> Tell me you wish I was never born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You got to play this for fucking, what's his name? Alan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really. I mean, if you watch the podcast, his fucking head would explode. Just had this clipped up. Like, can I send you a clip? And his <laughs> eyes would turn into money this? bags. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there have been times where Alan's like, you're not really good at making eye contact. And I'm like, that's because I jerked off to you last night. I mean, I didn't say that, yeah, but I'm yeah. like, that's because I jerk off to things I shouldn't. Yeah. You became my therapist. I jerked off to you like nine times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how people control that. I would love to. My friends will send me videos and they're like, this is a really good porn. It's like really positive towards women. The couple's like really in love. And I'm like, get the fuck away from me. Who's sharing porn in the group chat? Her. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. That's this crazy. This is a real positive porn clip? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, there's like, you know, this is like porn that is... When they come, they say they want a future together. <laughs> well, like, sometimes what? you, as a woman, you know when you smoke weed... And you watch a movie and you're like, yeesh, yeah. these are actors. Yeah. That's how porn feels to all women, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you have like a good, a well-made one, we do share it to e each other being like, hey, this one doesn't feel like you can see the director shaking with yeah. joy. You know what Mine's I mean? Mine's always yeah. like, guys got done at soccer practice hanging out with each other. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Yeah. yeah, and they're just hanging out, and it's like, I'm not gay, you're gay. Yeah, ah, whoops, like, I fell. Ah, Dude, yeah, no. Brokeback ah, Mountain ah, is super ah, hot. Ah, <laughs> Let's play gay chicken. That tickle that tickle porn shit is crazy. Yeah? Oh, you ever see that documentary? Which documentary? The Tickle documentary? No. I do Yo. recommend it. Dude. It's called Tickle, I think. Wait, it where is, is it? Where can you see it? Insane. I, Amazon? I think Amazon Prime. It's just about, like, the tickle fetish? Dude, it, it's, it's about this guy who ran a blackmail tickle fetish website that was <laughs> destroying the lives of young wrestlers that were trying to make <laughs> money as boys that were like, I guess I'll just wrestle and tickle for 500 bucks. And then they couldn't get jobs because they tried to get it taken down and the guy would like get the police. It's yeah, it insane. Was, they would be like, Hey, I want my tickle video taken down. And the people would be like, if you I'll blackmail you and put, you know what, you know what it kind of seemed like in the end was that, person was getting off on blackmailing yeah. the, tickle the tickles. people. So at first you're like, oh, it's weird that people are jerking off to tickles. And you're like, oh, no, people are jerking off to these kids being like, take down Hostage. my tickle. Yes. Yeah, but, this, yeah, yeah. but this guy was like left millions of dollars. So he would just hire lawyers and like had all these fake names and shell corporations for his tickle quite, company. This is not at all what I imagined when you were like, check out the tickle. I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what do like, you think what? it was about? Just be like, this is what these people are into. That's what oh, I thought no, you were no, describing. Oh, no, no, no. This it is, is so much. It is a twisted tale of a tangled web. I forget uh, who told me about tickling. it. It was some comic. And like, What's the tickle thing? And I was like, I don't like anything that you just said. And yeah. they were like, trust me. And then I watched it and I was like, this is crazy. Dark. Yeah. It's really dark, dark in a good yeah. way. It's like yeah. true crime meets. Okay. Yeah. Sold. Yeah. 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 It's on Pluto TV. Pluto TV. I did not watch it on Pluto TV. Well, none of us are watching it. Else. Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. Tickle. You have to rent, right? It's called? It's called Tickle? I think. <laughs> yeah. It's all tickled. Yeah, yeah. The word is so, it's like when somebody's like tickled, you're like, <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I know. It's just yeah. Kind of like makes you, I mean, I'm not against it. I'm just saying that the, there's something so like, like squirmy about the word. If so, like if someone like, it's like I know an somebody, onomatopoeia. Yeah. Yeah. It's like raspberrying someone. I know somebody who's like, like that's their number one turn on. What? It's getting tickled? No, has to tickle uh, whoever he's with. <laughs> like that's his, that's how he gets aroused. Like, I think he would like rape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He has to tickle. Wait. You know what I do is I date bad dudes and then I'll tickle them. And when they're ticklish, I justify that they're good people. I was oh, as they're the having their moment of like laughing and. Dude, yes, I was thinking about this the other day. Wait, and I what? Was like, 
okay, okay, okay. So I date these bad dudes who hate me, right? And then I'll tickle them and they're like, ah, stop. And I'm like, see, they're nice. See, they're a good person. All right. Bad people are ticklish. I, it's this crazy. Is, this is a good realization, though. Really good realization. Yeah. Bad people are ticklish. Hitler might have been ticklish. Isn't what? That crazy. Okay, like say you're like you suck, Jordan, and I'm like, okay, well, we just got through a fight, and now you're you've allowed me to stay in your house a little longer. If I tickle you, and you're like, oh, I'm like, see, they're not evil. She takes that moment where yes. you're laughing and squirming, like she's like, they're oh, vulnerable. They're ticklish. I mean, you they're... must have got kicked in the head by a mule. <laughs> Yeah, I got kicked in the head by human beings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A mule would have been great. A mule would have been an accident. I, that is, woo, hey, you learn, I learned so much about you. I think that is, I just didn't realize because I was running through my mind. I was like, how did I know he was so mean? How is it possible? And then I was like, and he's ticklish. And then I was like, Eric, go back a second there, Jordan. He's ticklish. And I was like, oh, fuck. Go back to your friend tickling people. How does he, is he like, it is hot. Like how I'm does not the ticklish. initial tick? You are ticklish. How do you? And I just don't like being touched. <laughs> I don't know how he initiates, but he actually said to me that he can't uh, perform if there isn't a little tickling before. <laughs> Swear to you. Wait. If they're like, do not do that. I'm triggered by tickling. That he is not going to. Oh, he's out. I think he's, he's out. He's out. Yeah. What if they're not ticklish? He probably is like, this was he'll a find a way. Wow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. Does he have a feather? <laughs> uh, that's this is a good question. <laughs> I got to ask him. That's yeah. interesting. It must be because it's a way he's, it, at least for me, I tickle because I'm like, you're scary. If oh, I tickle right. you, it, it's disarming. It, it makes me feel like yeah. I can be vulnerable. So I understand if I had a dick and I was like, all right, get hard, buddy. Let's do it. It'd be like, fuck you, bitch. This is scary. Uh, you don't know this woman. And then if I tickle him, I'm like, oh, I have some c- control over this sure, person. Sure. And then I, yeah. I think, I mean. Look, I don't actually know because I haven't had extensive enough conversations, but the way that he described it, it was just like, it is just standard foreplay for him. Like, it's like you lay on the bed, you guys are, you know, kissing. And then he's like, are we going to do this? I'm going to tickle you first. And then he gets, I think when he sees the person, you know, suffering, suffering and losing, then he's just like, (laughs) yeah, yeah. When he hears somebody go, no, please stop. stop. I don't want this anymore. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's good that tickling. It's like men who date Asian women. It's good that they're not fucking kids like they really want to, you know. <laughs> Wait, and what? for him, it's good that he's tickling what? and not raping. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's how I feel about that. Same, yeah. Whenever one of my buddies only dates Asian people, I'm like, good for you, not yeah. fucking a kid. You know, yeah. you're doing, you're doing great. <laughs> Welcome back to head injury with Ethan's Jordan. Gonna, Ethan. Ethan's gonna kill me. I, I get it. I know what you mean. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> if somebody's like, I'm really into women being like, please stop. Yeah. Maybe they're actors. There are a lot of comics who are exclusively into Asian women. Are there? Speaking really? Of, huh? Really? Totally. I don't know any. I know a bunch. Oh, like three. That's not a. I'll tell you off pod. Yeah, let's let's cut these mics pretty soon. I got so many questions. (laughs) Yeah, really. I know. Take this off air. It is a real thing. You are you into Asian women? Who was somebody I was talking to recently? You're like, yeah, I'm into kind of all type of women. Yeah, wasn't it? There's no exclusive type thing, except for with me. I've only strictly Irish. Turns out, yeah, (laughs) Irish men. Yeah, we put it all together that recently, and I was like, oh, shit, I only fuck Irish dudes. Really? It's crazy. Yeah, she thought that was a problem. I didn't oh. think that was a problem. The I did not. Was, I, I just only acknowledged date Irish it. guys. I didn't say that. You made the bit after I said that, and you were like, well, oh, that's the problem. And I was like, I'm not saying the problem. I'm saying that's the pattern. Uh, yes. You agreed. only fuck women with dicks, okay? That's so not shut up. true. <laughs> Not Don't look in his eyes. Don't look in his eyes for help. He can't help, help you. Help. <laughs> help. Don't look at him like he's a woman you fucked who could save you right now. That's not true. We Get fucked. Yeah. What about us? Yeah, I should fuck more. I should diversify. You should. Yeah. Go with like an Italian. You know what it is? Irish men are shut down. Catholic Irish. They're yeah, raised yeah, with God. Yeah. They're very like, everything is bad. Are they all like big boozers too? Yeah, sober or boozers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> so, that's just yeah. sober or boozers. Well, sober because they were boozers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, not uh, people uh, who yeah. are like, I'm Muslim, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. yeah. So how long have you and your wife been together? Yeah. <laughs> it's a long time now. Are you just having two kids? Yeah, yeah, no we're more. done. No, 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 we're done. I got snipped. Yeah. You got snipped? Yeah. Congratulations. Dude. Yeah. What was that like? It was actually really so I go, I'm gonna get snipped, right? I don't we don't we don't want more. Yeah. And then they do a pre like a pre operation or procedure, I would call it, checkup. Like, oh, you know, yeah, you're yeah. gonna do it like let's just make sure everything's cool. And as dude, the way they they check you, they put your there the guy puts his fingers like where your where your sack yeah. Originates. Like the perennium. But, but, but no, but like, so move the finger further forward, not, not towards your ass, forward. So like there's a opening that your sack drops from. He puts his finger in there. Oh my gosh. So he's actually inside, like basically inside of you. And, uh -huh. you're like, and as he's doing that, I'm like, ah, he goes, oh, you have a hernia. No Whoa. shit. And I was like, what? He goes, he goes, oh yeah, that's a hernia. And I was like, ah, okay. He goes, so you don't have to address it now, but you know, some point down the line, you will. I was like, well, wait, can we just address it now? He's like, sure. So he's like, we, if we address it now, we could just do the vasectomy while you're out. Cause we're going to have to wow. cut you oh. open to fix the hernia. And I was like, all right, just do that. Wow. So I just, I went out, like I lay on this table and they're like talking, what's your favorite song? And you're like, Hrm. you just pass it, wow. out. Oh, yeah, that's the and best. then you wake up and what happened was they, the guy did the, the vasectomy, he, do, he does it in fucking like 12 minutes. Yeah. Right? It's like, is this con? What is it called? Soldering? Cauterized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what like they do is they take that tube. Tig welder? And they, they basically move it so that the, the sperm wouldn't, doesn't feed into the seminal fluid, uh, you know, where it's. How, who figured this out? You want to know the craziest thing he yes. told me? He goes, I go, I'm going to, but like, I'm good after this, right? He's like, yeah. He goes, there's a 98.5% chance that you'll have no issues. I'm like, well, what's the 1.5% chance? He goes, I didn't even believe this when they told us this in medical school until I had it happen in private. He goes, that's how crazy oh my it gosh. is. But he goes, in about 1.5% of cases, you know, we take that, that tube and like, you know, the tube is normally attached here. And we move it so that sperm doesn't feed into seminal fluid, right? So that's why, that's why you're no longer fertile. It's, it's feeding into nothing instead of the like... sperm comes... Through this tube, like from your testes, and it goes like into wherever you... Goo? Se yeah, seminal fluid is produced, right? Like uh, your prostate. Okay. Right? So they mix together. And then that's like... Okay. Because right? sperm is in the seminal fluid. So we take that tube and we move it. And then it's like attached here. He goes, in about 1.5% of cases, the tube will move back and reattach. That's itself. awesome. Huh. And I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, your body is just like, no. Like, we That's want this. so cool. And he goes, I didn't even, he goes, they would tell us this in medical school and we would be like, what? And he goes, and then I saw it in private practice. Oh, so that's how wow. some guys get snipped and they still have a kid. Yeah. No shit. It that's actually amazing. moves back to where it was and re like reattaches itself. Oh my God, right? it becomes so sentient. How does it do that? I, I have no have It's like the child. wisdom teeth thing. Like, we don't chew meat, so now we have to get them pulled out. Yes. And like by the way, I know I probably got something wrong with the deed. Some urologist is like, that's not how it works. Yeah, you if I see I one mean. comment that's like, well, technically, you know making. what I fucking mean. I'm, we're all going to Google it later. I'm going to so, watch a video of it. But happening. it is, it's fucking wild. That's so, awesome. what happened was they did that, and then as I was out, they, they, they prepared, put the mesh. Put the mesh. Oh, I got the mesh. And the fucking. Why did you get the mesh? I had double hernia surgery when I was 18. How sore I, were you after? So fucking sore. Because I was in this bed and for, it feels like it was like two weeks. If I sat yep. up or if I caught like that, oh. you don't realize that everything yeah. you engage your core. Yeah. And I would be like, I mean, the pain was, was like gnarly. And it wasn't, everyone thought it was the vasectomy pain. It was the fucking yeah. hernia pain. I was like, oh, where'd you get God. the hernia from? I think it was right before then I was like trying to, I was getting into deadlifting. Oh, and, and I, I mean, I don't know, but yeah. you know, you could, it's right. I got mine from uh, yelling at veteran stadium at outfielders no. when I was 18, straining myself. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Gave you a hernia? Yeah. From yelling and straining so much. I have a hernia. In I just haven't gotten it fixed. Yeah. Well, basically they were like, I go, how, they go, they go, you don't have to do this now. It's just like a perfect timing thing. Yeah. They're like, oh, you could live with that for like 
years. Yeah. years I got the years. I got the hernia and I told my mom, I was like, man, this is like really hurting. She's like, you stop being such a pussy. You're fine. <laughs> It's what you really got it from yelling. You're all right. And then I went to get checked out for surgery. I'm like, this is a double hernia. We need to have the surgery right now. I'm really? Like, ah, fuck you. Yeah. Double meaning like both sides? No, no. Oh, bo- oh. Ear, like opened up two spots. There was a guy, because I was, when I was, when that happened, I, I started to do like, you know, when you're about to have that, start having like all, you do the research. You start like looking up clips. And there was like this, I forget the name, this crazy power lifter. I was like, oh, I want to watch his video about it. And he was like, he, oh. goes, he goes, I get a lot of, he's like answering questions. He goes, I got a lot of questions about hernias. He's like, it's fucking super lame, but I'm just going to answer. Like he like first like wow. demeans people for even asking. Yeah. And then you're like, okay. And he's like, <laughs> that's why you're there. And you're like, and he's, yeah. <laughs> he like deadlifts like 800 pounds or something. And he was wow. like, he's like, yeah. Uh, he goes, I have a hernia. And you know, yes, it pops out. Like, you know, when I'm lifting, he goes, and then what I do is I just push it back in. Yeah. <clears throat> I've like, done that. People, I dated a guy who was like, you want to push it back in? I have one that I can push out and back in, but it's different up here. There's something gross about up yeah. here. Yeah, and like the pubic area. So it's like area. your intestine Boo! coming out. It is your Yeah, intestine. and I was like, it's this guy's fucking insight. He was just like, push your shit back in. And you're like, all right. I would all at right. least get something that like, like my mom had one that was so big that would push it. And I was like, can we get you like a belt with a ball that holds it in? Also, when you have the, I didn't have a concept at all for what a hernia was. Yeah. I was like, I just heard, I knew the word. And then they're like, when they're telling you, it's like, you're like a tube and this is part of your insides that are s- escaping the tube. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your There's a hole organs there. are coming through and, and that's what you're pushing it back. I was like, that was enough. I was like, I want to fix it. Can it's fix crazy it? that they can just put mesh in there. This, this kid I was, was talking to yesterday outside the cellar. You can still feel the mesh. Can you? You can? Oh, I can. Here, let me find it. No, I don't want to get that close to your penis. This kid I was talking to last night. Got his close. foot chewed off on a motorcycle accident. Oh, come on, and then, man. What? What? It's Go. cool. All right. And then he took this, a chunk of this flesh. I was on mushrooms last night, so when he showed me, I was oh. like, I I thought I was going to faint because I'm a fainter. But he was like, I was like, I'm showing you. And I looked at it, and instead of fainting, I was like, this is amazing. Like, this is the most beautiful thing ever. They, like, took all of these, t- a bunch of these tendons and reattached them and it is crazy. The body will just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put him down there. And and he has a foot? Does his foot work? His foot is, totally works. He's totally fine. He, he, They were like, you might not walk. He's walking fine. And he just has a big chunk. It Dude, is cool that you can just I be have, like. You see this uh, this scar here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They cut me open there. Oh. And they took a nerve. Mm. What? And then, look, look at the forearm. They put it in here. Why did they do that? And I have, I have all the video from the surgery. Oh, my God. I want to see it. And so at one point. They're like, I'm obviously out and they're taking electric charges and they're, and they're touching nerves. And then my hand is doing things. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it's like, I have, why did they do that? Cause when I broke the arm, um, they fix it, but I had nerve damage. So, so my, my hand, how'd you break it? Oh, I basketball. Know how you broke it. basketball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how'd you break it? Oh yes. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. But um, the nerve shit was like, so like, if you said like extend your hand at that point, I'd go like this. Could, did you have feeling in your hand? Yeah, but I had a lot of numbness too. Yeah. And you, you, you know, this is called like pronating and you have two muscles that do it here, two <sighs> nerves. And so you can, you can spare one. And so they, How do they attach that, it? Oh my God. Dude, it's like a doll hair. When they, and they, no! Yes. How? And when they put it in, they go, listen, this is a doll hair. So for the next, like, first of all, for the first, I think it was six weeks, they're like, don't pick anything up. Like, don't pick up a fucking can. Don't do it. And don't, and you're like, and I had two little kids. I'm like, what? And they're like, don't like, don't have someone bump you. And you're like, whoa. And then they gradually, like after a few months, they're like, all right, you could pick up five pounds, five pounds. So it attaches itself. It starts to like, yeah. Yeah. The thing is, if you, (laughs) (laughs) it's just going like like an old tazy. Yeah. Here's the thing. If you have a nerve that's not working well, it's connected by nodules, nodules is what they, inside your body. And if it starts to die, your body just consumes it. It just it just that dissolves so cool. in your body. Dude, that happened to my uncle. He had ancient orange or agent orange. <laughs> <laughs> ancient. Ancient alien. It was so old. It was like it that was old so orange. Old. <laughs> ah, my nerves. Yeah. Uh, from Vietnam. And he was like losing feeling in his hand and his tendons. And and uh he didn't do that. He blew his head off instead. <laughs> But yeah. it's good Fuck. you got the surgery. Yeah. Well, that's the show. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Rest in peace, Uncle Danny. 
<laughs> R.I.P. Dan. <laughs> Bye, Dan. <laughs> are we at time? <laughs> yeah. What are we at? Oh. Oh, oh shit. yeah. All right. Uh, you want to give us uh, plugs? Plugs. Okay. Um, uh, please watch the new special. It's called Sledgehammer. It's on Netflix. Um, I have some dates for the remainder of the year, just a few. They're all at TomSegura.com. I think that's pretty much it. For Hell me. yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Cool. Um, I have, uh, I don't remember, remember, JordanJensenComedy.com. Please buy tickets ahead of time. Thank you. IanFidance.com. I'm coming to Buffalo, Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, Rochester, and... Jersey and oh, uh, San Diego and Brea and San Jose just announced ianfidance.com, ianimal6, I'm patreon.com slash be an Ian pod. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you, Tom. This is fucking great. Thank you guys for having me. It was yeah, a lot of fun for Thank sure. You. Oh, yes, we're doing the live podcast July 21st, the cutting room, New York City. Be there, be fucking gay. It's okay if you're gay.